Five Kingdom Classification. As we have learned earlier, the highest level in the hierarchical classification of living organisms are kingdoms. Based on cell structure, mode, and source of nutrition, and body organization, biologist Robert Whittaker in 1959 classified living organisms into five kingdoms. Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. Organisms under Monera are prokaryotes, that is, no defined nucleus. Mode and source of nutrition can be autotrophic, which means they can synthesize their own food, or they can be heterotrophic, which means getting food from the environment. They are unicellular. Bacteria Blue-green algae, cyanobacteria, a few examples of Monera. Organisms having well-defined nucleus are called eukaryotes. Kingdom Protista has eukaryotic unicellular organisms. Mode and source of nutrition can be autotrophic or heterotrophic. Body organization. Some of these have appendages such as hair-like cilia or whip-like flagella. Unicellular algae, amoeba, paramecium, and euglena fall under this category. Multicellular organisms with cells having cell wall and which do not perform photosynthesis are classified under kingdom fungi. Fungi are described as saprophytes because they use decaying organic material as food. This is their mode and source of nutrition. They have cell walls made of a tough complex sugar called chitin. Yeast and mushroom are few examples of fungi. Multicellular organisms with cells having cell wall and which perform photosynthesis are the ones in Kingdom Plantae. They are autotrophs and use chlorophyll for photosynthesis. All plants around us are under Kingdom Plantae. Organisms under Kingdom Animalia are multicellular but their cells do not have cell wall. They are heterotrophs. All animals and birds including human beings, are classified under Kingdom Animalia. This diagram shows the basis of classification of living organisms into five kingdoms, Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia, the highest level in the hierarchical classification. We will study Kingdom Plantae and Animalia in detail in the forthcoming slides.